Hey YouTube, I wanted to take a few moments to compare and contrast, really mainly show all the similarities between fitness and investing. So much of fitness and investing go hand in hand. It takes constant and consistent, persistent work to build a strong investment portfolio and a healthy body. Those things go hand in hand and it doesn't happen overnight. You'll notice that, you know, all of the rich and successful people that you know didn't get it overnight. It's not a get rich quick kind of thing. It takes years and years of work for them to become successful. And Rome wasn't built in a day. Your body also wasn't built in a day. When you go to the gym and you see really strong people, that didn't happen overnight. Even if they're, you know, on the latest roids or they're, you know, taking all kinds of supplements and taking risks like that, it still took years of work, most likely. It didn't happen overnight. And there are downsides to, you know, trying to have it happen overnight and trying to be build a body overnight or trying to build your finances overnight. There are going to be some real downsides to doing that. So you're not going to notice those changes as well. So you have to keep that in mind whether it's, you know, building your stack, you might not notice changes after a while. Just like when you're going to the gym, you might not notice that, hey, your body actually is, you know, changing and adapting to things. It might be, you know, that you'll hit a plateau and, you know, you'll get those new first little newbie gains or you'll notice that your stack is really starting to take off and then all of a sudden you're gonna hit a plateau. Maybe you set a more ambitious goal for yourself. And maybe it's gonna take a lot longer to hit that goal. And sometimes you can you know, kind of alleviate that by breaking goals down into smaller, more manageable bite-sized chunks. And that goes for both investing and for fitness. But sometimes you're still gonna feel like you've hit a plateau. And when you hit those plateaus, it's important to, you know, try and find those better strategies as you go along. Because there are better strategies when it comes to investing and when it comes to fitness that can help you move along and get closer to your goals faster. You know, I talk a lot about when it comes to investing and making sure you don't have fees in your investment and making sure you're watching your premiums when it comes to precious metals investing. Those are two really important things that can help you, you know, not get plateaued out quite as quickly. When it comes to fitness, there's so many different things that can help you avoid those plateaus. I mean, whether it's, you know, muscle confusion and mixing up your workouts, making sure that you're changing things up and you're not falling into a constant rut, you know, um, day after day, that can really help you accelerate things. And, you know, when it comes to precious metals investing too, not always falling into the rut, but finding the things that you like to invest in can help you avoid really getting plateaued out and getting bored within the hobby. And you know, preventing you from reaching the goals that you've set for yourself. So finding those better strategies and looking for those better strategies is something that's really, really important. I think that continuing along that comparison aspect between fitness and investing, it's something that you can definitely squander in a weekend of fun. So you have to be on guard. When it's fitness, I mean, a weekend of beer and having pizza and not working out and not moving and sitting on the couch or, you know, doing 
fun, not active things, or playing video games, can really set you back on your fitness goals. And you know, you'd be surprised that you know even that week off without invest, uh, without not not investing, <laughs> without working out, can actually lead you to another week off because it's you know once you're at rest it's easy to stay at rest and once you're in motion it's easy to stay in motion and that's something that i constantly have to remind myself that hey even if the workout isn't the greatest at least you're getting through the door and at least you're getting a little bit better and i have to remind myself it's not going to happen a day just like investing is not going to happen in a day and any little bit you can save is better than not saving at all because at least you're building that habit of saving even if it's not quite everything that you wanted to be saving so i think that you know if we can make those small improvements and have those small improvements start to add up you know whether it's in investing, you're making those small improvements, avoiding fees here and there, avoiding common pitfalls, those things start to add up over time, especially when you have years and years of investing. Just like your body, if you make small lifestyle changes, you know, for instance, changing your breakfast from something that's you know, unhealthy to something that's healthier, or in my case, you know, actually having a breakfast as opposed to you know basically fasting in the morning and then breaking the fast not until lunchtime or whatever snack I have so actually even having a breakfast can be a real improvement and truly add a lot of value and that'll help you see those improvements that you want to have so I think that this analogy can go so, so far, and I'm not gonna pretend like I came up with this analogy. I think a lot of people have noticed this analogy between fitness and investing. But I think that both of those, and endeavoring to improve in both of those things, really can make you a better person in the long run. And overall, I think that's what we, we look for when we're talking about our hobbies is we want those things to kind of improve us and make us better people in the long run. So I hope you continue to join me as we, you know, continue to try and talk sense into some of the precious metals investing community. And hopefully we also encourage them to get out there and become more fit. And that goes for myself too. Because I think we're always going to be trying to improve ourselves when it comes to investing and when it comes to our bodies. So I hope you like this video and uh, comment. Feel free to share and subscribe. Take care.